Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So um, I was looking, I was on the Canon forums in the summer trying to figure out what was the biggest uh, storage that the Canon Vixia HFR800 was able to take. So the SD, uh, sorry, the Vixia HFR800 uh, takes an SD card and uh, it's a full size SD, but it doesn't mean you have to use uh, full SD, you can simply use an, uh, you know, one of these adapters which you can pick up for a dollar or actually most micro SDs nowadays, they just throw them in for free. Um, so the official thing listed on the instruction manual, I believe is 256, which is already pretty big, but I'm going to show you guys what I got working. This is the biggest uh, micro SD card I could find last summer on Amazon that would ship. It's 500 and 12 uh, gigabytes, I know it's a tiny bit out of focus, which is, you know, slightly over half a terabyte. So that's huge. So I'm just gonna pop this guy in, uh, just to show you guys that it can work and how much, uh, my SD card is pretty much empty at this point in time. I don't really have anything. Um, I've just offloaded footage. So I just wanna show you guys firstly that it works and uh, how to format it and a couple of other things to know about the uh, the SD card. So if you go into other settings and then you scroll down to initialize SD, this is where you're gonna get your info on the SD card in the camcorder. So just to show you guys that it is possible, um, in fact, I get a little bit more, it comes up as 537 gigs and it's showing that I've used 500, uh, sorry, 727 megabytes. But yeah, once you've got your, uh, you know, five more than 500 gigabytes, you've got a ton of storage. Now you can, of course, also find uh, 512 uh, gigabyte full sized SD cards. And I think there's terabyte SDs now as well. I'm not sure they can work, but I can vouch for the fact that even though the manual says 256, you can get, uh, you can get this um, memory card of the site in the camcorder. Um, now, how much can you record using a memory card of this size? So you can access your video card, uh, your recording quality by going to this screen and going into video quality. And something that's really useful is that for each recording quality, it's going to tell you how much recording time you can have. And the higher your recording quality as measured in mega megabytes per second, MBPS, uh, the bigger the files and the less less you're going to record, obviously, right? So you can see I record at 17 uh, megabytes per second. It's a uh, full, uh, full HD. Now this camera only does full HD. It's not a 4K capable camcorder. And this gives me 70 hours. So that's a real, really generous amount of time. Uh, if I go down to four megabytes per second for long play, I actually get 291 hours. And then, and as I said, this memory card is virtually empty. I think there's like something like one clip on it. Uh, if you want to get more detail, you actually can. You can click on that info and you can change, toggle between a 24 and 30 uh, P as your frame rate. So I actually shoot, uh, usually that should have been set for 24, 24 frames per second and bit rate of uh, 17 uh, megabytes per second. And that gives me 70 hours. Now, just to show you uh, how much at 60p recording, the highest quality available on this camcorder, that uh, reduces it to 33 hours and 44 minutes. At 24 Mbps, you are it gives you uh, 49 hours, 51 minutes, so almost 50 hours. I'm gonna leave it here, and I have 70 hours of footage that I can record onto this SD card. So uh, purpose of this video, uh, just to tell you that um, I managed to get a 512 um, gigabyte S micro SD card working with this camcorder, which means I guess that it theoretically can be done. Uh, if you've managed to get something even bigger, like a terabyte, let me know, but I'm certainly very happy with this. It gives me tons and tons of uh, storage to record onto. Thanks for watching. If you want to get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.